Hey friends, my name is Megan. In an attempt to be more frugal with our grocery budget, we are trying something new this week. I thought it would be fun to make a video today and show you guys how we're trying to save money in the kitchen. ready to start cooking but Grant wants to show me what he did outside so I need to get some shoes on I need to find those yeah I wear socks and sandals okay hey, what'd you do shoveled some poop <laughs> <laughs> we worked on this section in our last video we cleared all that out this pile of horse poop was left behind from the previous tenants and Grant just got done starting to clear it out. It's about half of the pile. Oh my word, yeah, it was all the way out there. Yeah, it was just that right there was 15 wheelbarrows. 15 wheelbarrows. One of the ways that we're trying to be more frugal with our grocery budget is to start cooking whole chickens. I am super thankful to have this cookbook, the Prairie Homestead Cookbook by Jill Winger. And um, she actually has a simple roast chicken recipe in here, as well as a chicken stock recipe. Her recipe is to make a whole meal with potatoes and such in the roasting pot while you roast the chicken. I don't have those things. I'm just gonna use what I do have and get the chicken started and then I'm running to the store to get the rest of the stuff that we need for dinner. I have the chicken in my instant pot on the roast setting um, at 350 for 45 minutes. Then I'm gonna turn it up to 400 and cook it for another 20 minutes. At that point, I will use my thermometer to um, read the temperature of the chicken. Jill says to roast until the thickest part of the thigh reaches 165. So I will test it um, at that point to see 
And if it's not ready, then I'll cover it back up and continue roasting. Now that that chicken is cooking, I'm gonna head to the grocery store to get the remaining um, items that we need for tonight's dinner and for the rest of this week. We at least plan our dinners out for um, the week. This chicken that I have cooking right now will actually serve us for three dinners. And then we always have one night that is a leftover night and then um, Friday night is always pizza night and we've started doing homemade pizza um, and that's that's saved us money as well being able to home make our dough and the kids usually just do cheese pizza anyways so very cheap very easy another way that I'm saving money for our grocery budget is um, I'm starting to buy more in bulk this weekend we were down the hill we were down in the low desert in the Coachella Valley and down there they have a Winco it's about an hour away from us. I was actually able to get a lot of things for a really good price. I got macaroni pasta um, because I am gonna start making that from scratch as well. Brown sugar, I got whole wheat flour. I'm gonna attempt, I'm going to attempt to make a sourdough starter this week. And I think in the recipe it said to, that you need a whole wheat flour. I got sugar. Uh, this is baking soda. I use baking soda for our laundry, to help freshen up our laundry. So that's why I got that. I got some beans. I got three different kinds of beans. And flour. Um, and then rice. We really like basmati rice. They did have brown basmati. This was less expensive, so I ended up going with that. Winco does have some items available in organic selection. I didn't go with any organic this time just because we are really pinching pennies right now. So that's my main focus right now is saving money and just trying to make as much as I can from scratch. The chicken is done. Cooked the whole chicken pretty quick on the roast setting and because it's an enclosed um, thing, you know, similar to a slow cooker, it does sort of steam it as well. The skin doesn't get crispy like it would if you were actually roasting it in the oven. So what Grant did was once it was done cooking, we ended up just turning it off and it sat for just a little bit in the Instant Pot. Then Grant took it out of the Instant Pot, put the chicken, this rack was in the Instant Pot, and he just took that all out, put it on this cookie sheet, put it in the oven, and turned the broiler on high. And he said he didn't take his eyes off of it. Um, maybe took about 10 minutes, um, but you just keep your eyes on it so that it doesn't burn. And he took it out once he saw that the skin looked nice and crispy and ready to eat. So all that we have left now is we're going to remove everything that we're gonna use as meat um, in tonight's dinner as well as the next couple of nights. Everything that's left, the carcass, bones, um, anything that we're not going to eat, I'll put back into the Instant Pot and um, then we'll start on making the chicken stock. Wow, look at this chicken. How is that? 